Hello and welcome back to Pasco Laboratories. I'm JP and this week you would probably think that the P stands for problems because we certainly have enough of them out there. Over the past couple of days in our districts we've had nothing but problems but that's not what the P stands for. The P stands for plan because while you have problems we have a plan and I think you're going to like the plan that we have for you because let's be honest for a second. Let's talk about the elephant in the room and I don't mean this elephant, I mean the distance learning elephant because we've received emails from you and let me just read a couple. Richard in Lakeland, he writes, JP in our school, the P stands for pickle. Cute. We're in a pickle. <laughs> we're in a pickle. We learned yesterday that we're going to distance learning. I love your videos. Can you do more? And we had Mary write in from Sacramento, and she says, JP, we love your videos. Can you just come teach the lab for us? Well, for Richard and for Mary, the answer is yes and yes. We're able to do both of those, and we're going to do those in a package that we're going to demonstrate today, and I hope you're as excited as we are because we're going to talk to you about how we can do these labs for you in your class right here on Pasco Live. Let me introduce myself and tell you who we've got here today. I'm Dr. J.P. Keener. I'm a 30-year educator and the former director of STEM for the State Department of Education. I've got 15 years in distance education, and I'm here with my socially distant studio audience today. Everybody's wearing masks and separated by plexiglass and what we're going to show you today is a very exciting opportunity that we're calling the Pasco Academy. And in the Pasco Academy, we're going to be doing things for 15 straight consecutive weeks that bring our equipment, our demonstrations and our master teachers right to your school. What kind of things am I talking about? I'm talking about things like spectroscopy. I'm talking about things like properties of waves and chemical reactions and electricity and friction and motion and force and magnetic fields and sound and so much more. In fact, we've got such a comprehensive package put together that it's going to combine seven top great things we have at PASCO and we're going to bring it directly to you and we're calling it the Pasco Academy and you can find out information about everything I'm talking about today right at pasco.com slash pasco academy I think Janet is putting that up on the big screen for you so that you can link directly to that more information is going in there because this is fresh it's new it's just coming out today and I'm going to show you how you can get it on a very special promo FOMO promo that is going to be a great deal for you if you just remember what the P stands for what does the P stand for the P stands for plan. Now, let me tell you what that plan is. We have seven components of our academy. Let me go over them quickly with you, and then I'm going to let you meet our instructors. Part number one, each week for 15 straight consecutive weeks starting September 1st, we're going to have a weekly teacher focus. And in that teacher focus, we're going to be sitting down with you, the teacher, or you, the teachers in your district or in your school, and we're going to discuss the topic for the week. We're going to show you what resources are available. We're going to discuss techniques that they might use or some of our best practices that we've been using, and we're going to open that up for discussion. Then. The second component that we open up then for you to share with your students will be the actual student lab and data collection. The part that Mary says, can you do this for us? Yes, we can and we will with our student lab and data collection where our instructors are going to discuss the topic, they're going to do demonstrations and they're going to do the investigation, getting that data, sharing that data and sharing that data with your students and then they stop. And why do they stop? Because your students need to do the analysis. Your students need to do the hard work involved in the actual looking at the data and answering the questions and going back to the resources to answer those questions. Then after your students are done doing that analysis, we come back again and we give you component number three. And here, our instructors are going to do the data analysis and they're going to offer solutions to the questions that were posed in the previous segment. Here we're going to model different techniques, we're going to show strategies for solving problems, and all of that is for the students so they can solve these problems and have those questions answered. Then, throughout the entire week, we're going to have a live teacher forum where our teachers here at PASCO and your teachers and you can sit down with our folks and talk about what worked, what didn't work, what could work better, what are we going to do next week, what are we going to, what, how we can 
finalize what we talked about last week. This is all part of that forum, and we'll be able to discuss what we know with you. You'll be able to discuss what you know with other teachers, and this is a great networking opportunity. For us, it's a wonderful coaching opportunity because we do have some fantastic teachers here with over 30 years of edu over 30 years of teaching for many of the teachers that are here, myself included, sharing that experience with you. And then component number five, on top of all of this, you're getting 100% access to our full curriculum in essential chemistry and essential physics. So whether you're teaching chemistry or physics or both, you will have access to the teacher resources, the student resources, teachers will have access to the books, and so will the students. So anything we reference in our videos when we're talking about the content, we refer back to our textbooks and students can research that content. And we want you to use this as a supplement to whatever you've got in your district. Use our stuff to supplement it. And you can also supplement it with component number six, 100% access to all of our teacher resources. In physics, that also means things like AP1 and AP2 manuals and all the stuff that comes with it. And you want that last component, lucky number seven, total, complete, unlimited access to our software included with this package. Students can use it at home, on their phone, in the school, Teachers have the same software we have. Everything we share, everybody can use. One software, universal access, and you've got to be excited about that. So that's what we have. Seven total components, seven great pieces of our PASCO Academy, and I'm super excited about it because we want to be able to offer these great instructional opportunities and resources to you, and we can. But don't just take my word for it. We've got some great teachers in physics who want to show you why they're just as excited about PASCO Academy. And so let's take a look at what our teachers, JJ and Dan, have to say about the PASCO Academy and physics. Gentlemen? You know, JJ, I've been working with a lot of physics teachers lately, and they use Essential Physics online textbook uh, in their classes and they're not that anxious about the distance learning this semester because they have access to all those great teacher resources and student resources that are going to help them work with their students but one thing they're a little worried about is can they do all those awesome essential physics physics labs with their students this semester yeah and i understand that uh, that anxiety but that's why this a uh, new Pasco Academy product is so amazing. Uh, it's it's going to provide a great resource for them as well as any teachers interested in having their students do lab work using real data collected with real equipment. Um, and so not only are uh, uh, people that are participating in the Academy going to have access to the Essential Physics textbook and all those resources inside of it, but now we're going to have access to uh, video resources like uh, lab prep ideas for the teacher, um, pre-lab discussion, pre-lab demonstrations for the students, uh, data collection videos for the students, as well as a student-focused video uh, regarding data analysis strategies, ideas, um, um, concept expansion, things like that. You mean they're going to see videos of experiments uh, done using PASCO equipment and get access to the data like these smart cards? Uh, yeah, that's correct. So we're taking uh, 15 lab activities from the essential physics curriculum and we're gonna produce these resources based on those. So 15 weeks of resources. Well, that's great, especially these smart cards, the accurate data they produce from multiple sensors makes it real easy for students to discover the laws of physics uh, using the data. Uh, JP, why don't you show them the data I collected this morning of this collision between the two smart cards. It's velocity data. Look at that. You can almost see the collision just by watching the graphs. Yeah, so the, um, as JP mentioned, uh, part of the Pasco Academy is the inclusion of a site license for SparkView software, which is a, an amazing tool for data collection, but it's also... Uh, full of analysis tools that students can use to quickly and accurately do the analysis of the data that we're going to provide for them. And so then the other important part that I really liked was the after lab discussion video. That's correct. Because that's if you don't follow up with the lab, a lot of students sometimes even get the wrong point out of it. Uh, and so that's going to be conducted by some highly skilled physics professionals. Who are we getting to do that? 
Uh, it's us, Dan. It's, it's us? Well, that sounds like fun. One more reason to love this job. I hope you join us for Pasco Academy this semester. And I will certainly them, and I hope all of you take the opportunity to join both Dan and JJ. Now, do know, ladies and gentlemen, that this is running live, so if you've got questions, please ask them. Uh, see if you have uh, any questions for Dan and JJ. They are here to answer them for you. And JJ did mention that we were going to be covering 15 different topics, and I want you to know that this will be all on that website, but those topics can include things like acceleration, forces, two-dimensional motion, static equilibrium, work and energy, conservation of energy, friction, inelastic collisions, and more. All will be up on our website when you take a look at those 15 weeks. And I want you also to know that all of our resources are able to be loaded right up onto Google. And let me show you that Google, let me come here to my Google Classroom and show you what you'll be receiving here. You notice that we've put Google Slides for you that you can link directly to your materials and once you have that slide and once you make a copy, and those of you who use Google know, you just make a copy of this and you put it into your Google Classroom like I'm going to do here. Let me show you my Google Classroom. So I've made a copy, it's in JP's class, this is my class, this is my slide, now it's available to my students, and all they have to do is open up that slide, open up those resources, and they're able to go in now. After watching that first video, they can start answering some of the questions that we'll be discussing in the second student video. So here you see that I can edit it. As a teacher, you know that you're receiving this information practically live as they're typing it in your Google Classroom. I can answer the questions here. The same questions that we'll be discussing when we do the analysis, your students will be able to answer here. So all of our resources are Google friendly. Load them up that way or you can just download them directly onto your LMS and post them and share them directly to your students. And so you've seen some exciting things about physics and I showed you a little bit about the, the resources that are available for Google, but you're probably saying, what if I'm going to teach chemistry? Well, you've been watching many of our videos and you know that Roger and Barbara are great chemistry instructors and they want to share with you their excitement for the Pasco Academy. So let's take a look back to our classroom with Roger and Barbara. Thanks, JP. We are excited. Uh, we're looking forward to some labs that we can do together and, and show in your classrooms um, that you can broadcast to your students when they're at home. Um, of course, you know, it's going to be difficult to think about how would you do this to get materials, especially in chemistry home. Um, we're going to start with materials as simple as, as you know, frozen sort of water and, and a nice hot glass of water in an example lab. Uh, what's nice is that we've taken uh, this sample of, of brass and we're going to use that to cool down the other sample. Um, we've used exactly the same amount, so you'll see that our, our experiments are designed nicely to give a feeling for the students of what's going on. They should say, well, maybe it'll be right between the two. The temperature will go right between the two, from as hot as I can get out of the coffee machine to this ice cold water. Let's see what happens with the data when I do put that in. So if we turn to the data view here, I'll go ahead and start that. And I'm going to drop this into the water. You can tell as soon as this starts to drop that I'm putting that into the sample and you see the water's temperature is dropping. Uh, again, this may be something that you could pull off, uh, but it's nice that we can then point out some, some things that are going on. Uh, naturally, a hot glass of water is cooling, which you can see in that first part, and we're going to have to deal with that, otherwise you'll get uh, a little bit of difference or errors in your labs that we'll talk about um, early on in the, in the week so that the teacher can point those out. Um, we'll give them the formulas and work some problems um, and have some discussions. Um, so you see that, indeed, we'll run that until the place where the temperature pretty much stabilizes. What we'll also get the chance to do is, when we're done, is to talk about the tools that are in SparkView. So we may um, go ahead and open up the tools uh, in the bottom again on this um, next, and let me just change this real quick. Um, and we'll look at that next little video as we get ready for the, um, the analysis. And you'll see that I've gone ahead and made a line that goes across that top, and that's naturally the cooling process. So really what we want to know is how the temperature would drop from the lowest point all the way to the uh, bottom where the, the temperature planes out. So at first you might have your students measure like I'm doing here and just show from the top of the temperature to the bottom temperature and figure that. But really if we lower that temperature a little bit more, we're going to get a better feeling for what will give them really accurate results. Um, and we'll point out those things as um, we're going through the experiment. So that's the cool part. And then we'll be able to do some experiments that you really wouldn't be able to see at all, like uh, what Barbara's going to show us next. 
Right, so everybody's favorite lab, the flame test. Uh, we are going to do that uh, one of the uh, weeks when we talk about um, atomic structure. And we might start off that lesson with a demonstration, like a glow stick. And students are familiar with this. This is a phenomenon they recognize. And they can probably tell you some things they learned before about it, like, oh, I see a light being released. That is a sign of a chemical reaction. So we can review some topics we've already covered. Um, and then we can do the flame test, which we will walk through. And um, as an added bonus, we can show additional uh, uh, analysis that you might not be able to do uh, because you may not have a spectrometer. But we can take a spectrometer and look at the line emission spectrum from this tube and decide whether or not this is a neon light because students may think that's a neon light. So I'm going to start collecting data here. And we can look at the spectral lines produced by this sample. And if we go to the menu on the bottom, we can look at different reference elements. See the black lines there, it's not hydrogen. That lines up pretty well with helium, but let's keep going through those reference elements to see which lines up best. And instead of students looking at diffraction gratings uh, that may or may not have graduations on them, you can actually do some analysis, some quantitative analysis with spectral lines when you talk about atomic structure. And um, using the spectrometry software, we would demonstrate how you can actually locate and identify the peak wavelengths using the software. And you can take this as far as you want. You can do more than one peak if you like. This peak is 667.6 .6 nanometers wavelength. You can have students uh, calculate the energy from the photons emitted at that spectral line or um, the next one over, or maybe look at the energy transition, uh, depending, uh, looking at the energy levels. Uh, depends on how far you want to take this. But we would explain this at the level um, with the content uh, explained in the essential chemistry textbook. So then the following we would follow up with a, a talk through of the analysis after students have had a chance to turn in their work. And then we, would, we might do another demonstration to begin the next week. And Roger here is going to combine some luminol and bleach. We can talk about the reaction occurring here. Students will be able to give a more detailed explanation, a chance to take what they learned the previous week and apply it to a new situation, a new phenomenon with greater detail and with fidelity with, of what's happening, more fidelity of what's happening compared to their explanation. And then you can see how much they learn. So we're looking forward to meeting you in these 15 weeks that we spend together, and uh, we'll be excited to, to answer questions that come up as they do through your teacher um, and that we'll address in those videos um, that you'll feed through us to the forums. JP? Awesome. Thank you very much, Roger and Barbara, two very gifted, talented master teachers, and you can see why they're excited, because they are classroom teachers waiting to be classroom teachers for you. And of the 15 labs that Roger mentioned, they'll be talking about things like classifying matters, specific heat, household compounds, talking about moles and formulas, stoichiometry, and even atomic structure, and more. If you go to our website, you'll find this entire syllabus will be posted. If it's not there yet, it will be there very shortly with all of the things that you'll find in first semester. And don't forget, we're also considering second semester. So we are putting together a plan, a plan that covers seven different components that we're offering to you, where the P stands for plan, because that's what we're doing at PASCO. We've got a plan for you that's going to help you do chemistry and physics for your students at home. And now you're probably wondering, how can I get my hands on that? Well, I'm going to tell you, because we've got a very special PASCO FOMO promo. That's right. If you are the first 100 people to reach out to Isaac Martin, our sales director, Isaac Martin, if you're the first 100, Isaac's got a very special customizable plan just for you. Reach out to Isaac and say, I want that academy. The P stands for plan. And I'm planning to use that academy in my classroom. So let's do that. Let's bring that into your classroom. Do we have a question? Right, and so I can't tell you the price because the first 100 are going to reach out to Isaac and you're going to find out what that price is because Isaac's going to work with that first 100. But we're going to take as many people as we can into this very special academy that we're offering with our seven components, putting it together for our folks. And don't worry, if you're one of our international friends, you reach out to our international uh, partners and ask them how you can be part of this very special PASCO Academy bringing this instruction to you. We really hope that you are as excited about this as we are. We're doing chemistry, we're doing physics, we're doing it for 15 weeks. And we're starting on September 1st, so don't wait. Get a hold of Isaac now. 
Tell them you want to be part of this plan. Get ready for 15 weeks of our instructors and myself coming to you and your classroom. Where we'll be coaching, we'll be mentoring, we'll be teaching, we'll be discussing, and we'll be with you. And until we're with you in your classroom, we wish you the best of luck, great teaching, and good day.